A lot has happened at Metroflex Gym in the last year and to the owner. How are you doing today? When the pandemic restrictions first started, Lou Uridel wasn't only fined several times, he was actually arrested for defying the public health orders. How are you today and how, how are things going? Well, I'm um, doing pretty good. You know, the gym is operational, like you said. Today, Uridel says Metroflex is in compliance and even open for indoor workouts, and it's legal. We just basically worked with a uh, doctor of physical therapy to make it so people were doing prescriptive workouts inside. And our lawyer, Mel, with Uplift Law, she really worked with the county to get together a cohesive program so we could be open inside. This place is now considered a wellness center. But when you ask the owner, he'll tell you it always has been, fundamentally speaking. That is why he remains frustrated with state leaders who are charged with creating the COVID-19 restrictions. This is about politics, politics, politics. Data shows that gyms aren't a place where the coronavirus spreads. We've had over 100,000 visitors come through here since May, and there's not been one reported case. And members are glad to be able to work out again for many reasons. We have a lot of former military here who deal with PTSD. We have former addicts. I didn't even know they were addicts before. And after a few months of not being able to work out in a gym setting with their gym family, uh, they were contemplating going back. In Oceanside, Elizabeth Alvarez, KUSI News.